This right here is a AMT Backup 38 Super Barrel. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and polish up the feed ramp. And we use a Dremel. And you can see that that's not a stone. What you do, you uh, go down to Walmart and you look for a Dremel polishing kit. And it'll be a polishing kit and it'll have you know, this tip and it'll have a bunch of uh, round wheels and a couple of stones and a few other things and some actual compound. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on low. We're going to add a little compound to it and we're going to polish up the feed ramp here and make sure it is more reliable for feeding hollow points. Now I've never had any problems feeding hollow points but I don't like, you know, I don't mind the idea of having a more reliable pistol. So we'll do this real quick. This is extremely easy. Anybody can do it. And you're not changing the profile. This has got two profiles on it. You're not changing any of your profiles. You are just polishing it. And you're not going into the barrel. You're not going anywhere but just the ramp. So what we want is a nice, smooth, super slick feed ramp. And my Dremel tool, which is actually a Black & Decker. I actually like the Black & Decker better than my Dremel. I got both. Uh, this right here seems to be more adjustable. And it's easier to go ahead and change the bits out and stuff. And, I think we're about done already. It, it actually did it. A uh, quick polish on here already. Uh, there was a, initially there was a part one on this, but this right here is finished. Now what we'll do is I'll just quickly hang this up and grab a paper towel, wipe that down just a little bit, and. Let's see if I can position you so you can see that. Now, it's nice and shiny now. That's the way it should look. <laughs> Not even getting any light in it either. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to change that even more. Yeah. I'm really short on space right here because the tripod <laughs> needs to go where I have to stand. And I'll just wipe this down a little bit. And then I'll reach over here. What you do is you go to uh, Amazon.com because it's a cheap place to find it. And you purchase some Flitz Polish. And Flitz Polish is absolutely spectacular for polishing. And I got the big one, and when I say I got the big one, I got this right here, you see Flitz, but I got this big can here for the same price as one of those small bottles, so you know, shop around. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll just dip this in just a little bit, it's just a tiny little bit of a flip polish and I can't really see the screen here and we're just going to go ahead and polish that feed ramp just a little bit now what you do if you, you know, have like the 380 model that doesn't really assemble all that easy what you can do is you can take a q-tip and you can do this with any pistol as well uh, you can take a q-tip and you can polish up the feed ramp without using a dremel at all and just by using a little flitz works quite well and anytime you put flitz on there make sure you clean it exceptionally well and always <laughs> never insert your cleaning rod from the muzzle end always insert from the chamber end on the AMT backup it's a little bit difficult because it really doesn't it's really not designed to come apart um, this is actually I waited probably 10, 12 years before I even took mine apart. So this gives you an idea 
how reliable the pistol is. It's never had a malfunction. Other than you know, me not inserting the magazine all the way on. One time. Well, somebody bring that up, so I might as well. Okay, that right there is all the slits. And now we just take a clean dry cloth and we just polish it up a little bit. And that is incredible. That really is quite impressive. And um, just that long, let me see if I can get in here to take a look at that. Oops, having problems with the legs. But that right there is polished to a mirror finish. And it really doesn't come across very well on the video camera. But that really is an absolute super shiny mirror finish. And that right there is how you polish the feed ramp on a pistol. Quick and easy with just flits alone, but if you mix the flits and uh, a Dremel with a you know, polishing disc on it, you can really get a lot done very quickly. And as you see, this only took a couple of minutes. Matter of fact, it took eight and a half minutes. So that right there is polishing the feed ramp on, uh, well, in, this, in this case, it's the AMT Backup and 38 Super, but uh, I've done them to all my pistols for, uh, let's see, 1911s and 45, 1911s and nine millimeter. I also did it with a P38 and uh, Jericho 941. Um, I did it for a 22 pistol. In fact, I did it for this 22 pistol, which is a sorry pistol if you ever did see one. This is the, the worst 22 pistol in the history of 22 pistols. It's the most unsafe one because you have to insert the magazine in order to clear the weapon. You cannot pull it all the way back. Otherwise, I'd show you how shiny that feed ramp is, which is a lot better than this. Unbelievable. That's it. That's close enough. That right there is about eight minutes worth of video to show you how to do the feed ramps. You're not going to screw anything up. Just make sure you do a nice, good cleanup afterwards. You have to clean it with a nice, clean cloth. And sorry for moving the camera around so much, but I'm kind of shorthanded, literally. And after you kind of buff it, then make sure you clean the barrel. I give it a good clean because you don't want any of that flitz down the barrel. And the flitz itself, that stuff like right there is just incredibly slick. So you should have really good functioning of your pistol. You really should. There you go. A quick feed ramp polish on the AMT backup. Good for any of your semi-automatic pistols.